Hello everyone, um, today is a very special day for people who listen to music, or well, for people who listen to music on Spotify, because uh, everyone's Spotify rap has dropped, and um, mine's is kind of surprising. I already mentioned this in a community post earlier today, but um, of course my my top artist was Weezer. Uh, who would have guessed that? No one would have guessed that in the entire world. Yeah, and for some reason they started to add this music evolution thing. I don't know what bougie football rap means, but that that was a thing in February. Uh, September was nerdy permanent wave alternative rock. Artists like Weezer and Gorillaz. And then October was serotonin skateboarding modern rock. Artists like Weezer, Jack White, and 21 Pilots. I, I don't remember listening to 21 Pilots at all this year, but um, okay, it's on there. Especially in October. I don't remember listening to a goddamn 21 Pilots song in October, but it's there, I guess. Um, yeah, okay. Shout out to Jack White, though. He's pretty sick. But isn't that crazy? How Weezer is my top artist of the year, and I just started listening to them in, what, July? Shows you how dedicated I am to the Weezer Wednesday series. But uh, there was also some other stuff here I wanted to mention too about like how I only had 18,000 minutes listen this year. Which really kind of took me by surprise because I I, I had 30 I had 30,000 last year. So now I'm kind of now I'm kind of looking at it and I'm thinking why the huge dip in listening time. I think I have a few theories, but I'll get back to that in a minute. My other top artists were Future, Yeet, Uzi, Tyler, which kind of makes sense. Yeet, Uzi, Tyler, all, well, actually all of them dropped music. All of them dropped music this year actually. Technically Weezer too with the Blue 30. So that would make sense. Future definitely makes sense because I was preparing for his tour. I, I never got around to making a video on it, but I did go to I did go to see Future and Metro Boomin live. Yeah, these are really huge factors into my Spotify rap. If I'm going to one of your shows or, you know, you drop music. Uh, the top songs though, they're, they're kind of different though. Dude. I just had them on repeat because uh, they're just too good. I, I freaking love Lahai, dude. Sanfa, Sanfa's album is just too good. Yeah, so back to the whole 18,000 minutes. Um, I have a few theories as to why that may be. For one, it's probably because I was so ham-focused on the whole Weezer Wednesday series that I really didn't listen to too much of anything else. Yeah, once the Weezer Wednesday series took over, I did that I did that weekly, by the way. So I'd listen to the album on Wednesday and then think about it again throughout the rest of the week to make sure I'm kind of prepared with my thoughts for the next week, for the next Weezer album. And I had to do that from July all the way to practically November. So yeah, I was, once I get focused into a rabbit hole, I, I usually just stick with that to my own detriment, I guess. That could be a, that could be a huge factor as to why the listening is down a lot. Another reason is because I usually don't I actually do not listen to music a lot while I'm just chilling at home unless it's usually for like a video of course and I'm on here on this PC setup listening to music. But usually the time I take to listen to music is when I'm at the gym or if I'm driving in my car. And let me just tell you I don't really go out that much. <laughs> I go out for the gym and like the occasional hangout with friends but other than that yeah that's usually where i'm listening to my music and i haven't been doing it that much mainly because you know people are busy with school and whatnot and not, not a lot of not a lot of stuff happened during the summertime so yeah that could be a another theory and plus usually if i'm at home i'm probably like laying down so I'm being like a lazy shit and if I want to listen to the music I don't want to be falling asleep I don't want to be listening to a album I've never heard before and fall asleep halfway through and then miss the entire thing because that'd just be that'd just be horrible but another big running theory that I got is that I was very focused on it's funny too because the first theory was that I was too focused on Weezer so I didn't have time for anything else now this theory is that I was too focused on trying to find new stuff because last year I kind of made it a mission to listen to a ton of more music, which I feel like I did. And there was a ton of new albums that I've listened to over throughout the course of this year, new ones or going back to old albums. And that's kind of to my detriment because I would just go to one album like one day and I'm like okay that was pretty good you know jot it down somewhere and then listen to another album the other day I didn't really have time to like replay a lot of albums over and over again to sink my teeth into it that much I kind of just want to listen to an album 
felt like if I liked it or not, and then moved on to another album. There are days where I don't listen to new music in a day, obviously, so I would revert back to like my playlist, but I, I don't remember going back to my playlist a lot because I, I kind of wanted to keep listening to new music and not really like confine myself into a specific artist. Besides Weezer, of course, because that one, that one was just a mission of my own. That's a little exception right there. What was I gonna say? Like, uh, there'd be days where I do want to listen to something new and there's some days where I just don't want to listen to new music. And you know, there's just so much music that dropped this year. There comes to a point where there's so much music that I want to listen to and I wish I could get to. But I definitely suffer from something called optional paralysis. That's where you just have so many options, you just choose not to do any of them. And that definitely does feel like a real thing. I've definitely had my strain of optional paralysis because there's just, there's probably a ton more albums that I wanted to get through through this year, but just never got around to because I could be doing this album or I could be doing that album or I could be listening to an album I loved or whatnot. There's just a lot of music and you know, that's not entirely a bad thing, but when you have something like Spotify or the internet, just, you know, it's it's really at the palm of your hands and it's like, eh, I can do that later. And then later never comes because, you know, some guys just like to be, you know, a little lazy, a little optional paralysis demon kind of thing. But um, yeah, another big factor that's probably the most realistic is I also use YouTube. <laughs> if I'm replaying a song, it's probably through YouTube. I want to say I've used Spotify more to discover albums and just use albums. If I wanted to listen to like a full album, I'd probably do it here. If I want to replay it though, I'd be on YouTube. It's just weird like that. Maybe that's that's definitely a realistic factor now that I'm thinking about it. There, there's some songs on um like like say like Chromacopia of course. Like uh I've been listening to Darling Eye so many times, but it's through YouTube, so I wouldn't be surprised if like is Darling Eye even on my top songs yeah it's not even on here see if, if 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 we were talking like youtube maybe this whole list would be different but honestly spotify and youtube kind of go hand in hand nowadays spotify is where i find the album or listen to the album or discover something youtube is where i i keep replaying it over and over again because i freaking love the song so yeah for this year i usually wasn't on spotify to like re-listen to stuff it's mainly just to find something and, you know, sit down on an album for a bit while I'm at the gym or driving somewhere. And I don't drive a lot, so. It's weird too, cause like, this year I listened to, what is it? How many, how many artists was it? It was 791 artists, which, I don't know, could be a lot for you, could be so little for you. Well, if you wanna, if you want a little comparison, in 2021, I listened to only 468 different artists, but in 2022, I listened to 869. So like, I'm trying to think like, did I really listen to more music compared to past years? But it's like, I don't know. I I, I really wish I could have kept track of my 2023 one because I don't remember. Maybe it's the fact that I was listening to more, like I was finding more music. I didn't sink my teeth into I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I really can't explain this Spotify rap. It's weird. I don't know how two years ago I listened to more artists, but this year I felt like I've listened to the most albums I've ever listened to in my life. Oh, maybe it's because in so like in 2021, it's it's a pretty embarrassing rap. I'll let you know that. I'm pretty sure I showed it before, but like, <laughs> God. Panic at the Disco, Metallica, uh, Metallica and Queen are fine. Fall Out Boy, 34,000 minutes listen. Then the next year after that, it's like starting to listen to more Kanye, more Tyler, Cardi, Travis. Maybe it's because I it was in that transition from like my old 2020 high school days to more the the Kanye, Cardi rap route. And then 23, maybe it might have slowed down because I kind of settled into that type of genre and other artists. I, I do not know. I, I can't really give a concrete answer because I'm pretty sure I posted it on Instagram but um, some of my old stories got wiped for some reason so thanks Instagram. Did I listen to more stuff this year? Who knows? But I felt like I've listened to more stuff this year. Maybe it just had to do with that whole listening to something and then moving straight on. Like I said I wasn't using my playlist that much or replaying too much because I was finding a new album to listen to and yeah you know some days just, <laughs> just didn't, didn't, didn't want to find anything new. A lot of factors. Weezer, optional paralysis, <laughs> Just defaulting to YouTube, um, wanting to find something new every time. Those are probably why 
the whole 18,000 minutes are there and not my usual like 30,000. And even still, some people are listening to like 100,000 minutes. I'm like, dude, there's no way you're using Spotify that much. Maybe you just locked in on Spotify. Who knows? Yeah. And I would try to find my YouTube music recap, but for some reason it's gone. So I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell you. I really can't tell you. But yeah, I definitely did feel like I listened to more albums this year than any other year, which may be why my album of the year isn't on here, surprisingly, but that's for another video. I will say my Spotify rap isn't always the whole story, I think. Well, uh, speaking of album of the year, and it helps me transition into this other rabbit hole I wanted to talk about in a way by showing albums I have listened to throughout the year. I don't know if you know this site. You probably know this site if you listen to music. <laughs> it's called Album of the Year. It's basically a place where people can form communities and like do a ton of reviews. I, I created this account last December, but I started to finally go in on it like I want to say a few months ago. I kind of made a profile for myself. As you can see right here, boom, Garut, of course, my username. If you want to add me, go ahead. I think it's a public account. If not, then uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll link it below. So you can see, you can make your favorite albums. I have my favorite albums right here. It's like albums that like have uh, impacted me a lot. And I've had a few lists. Uh, as you can see, the only two lists I have is my Weezer Wednesday ladder. This is the ranked list of my Weezer ladder in, you know, a place where you can finally check it for yourself. You can look at that. But I also have a, a good stuff list of 2024. It's like stuff I've listened to. And uh, hey, you can, um, you can, that's for another video, right? Don't look at the list too well. But it's basically all the albums I've listened, uh, all the albums I thought that were good this year. And uh, while you, while we're saving this for another time, I have, what, like, how many albums is this? 72! I've listened to 72 albums that I thought that were good this year. And I'm pretty sure, I don't even know if I've listened to 72 albums fully last year. So there's that. And while I only started this good stuff list uh, in 2024, I've gone back and listed all, pretty much all the albums I've ever listened to fully. And there's a lot. Well, for me at least. And don't forget, there's also a, where is it? There's also a listen to uh, section where I, it's either from this year or not. It's like, I don't really have too much of a strong opinion on it. It's either like below good or I don't have a set opinion on it yet. Like uh, the Clash, London Calling, that might be a hot take. A lot of people seem to like London Calling, but I just never have gone around to it yet. There's just, I, I don't know. A lot of people call it a classic. I, I just haven't had a set opinion on it yet. I tried to listen to it. I listened to it fully one time, but I haven't done it again. So there's that. And Scale and Icy, I, maybe that's why they had 21 Pilots in there, but I, I, I don't remember listening to it in October. Albums that I don't really care for or I didn't think were that good, like <laughs> like uh, Eternal Take, that wasn't good. Honestly, never mind, that wasn't good. Party Next Door 4, I have a video on that, but it was kind of below average for me. A lot of people use this to post their own reviews on albums. I'm kind of using it in a more super simple way, where if, if I like it, it's in here or in the good stuff list for the year. Or if I don't really have a set opinion or I don't like it as much, it's in the listen category. So yeah, even with the 72 albums that I thought that were good this year that I've listened to, there's also a bunch of stuff that I released this year that I was not too crazy on, I guess. like like Vultures, Tunnel Take. There's even more albums than 72 that I've listened to this year, along with the, you know, the like category, which are albums that I've, that weren't released in 2024, but I've had listened to fully and liked. See, like Green Day, Isaiah Rashad, New Jeans. Maybe as time goes on, maybe I'll go back and re-listen to some of these albums fully and like actually post reviews, except for this one. The Capital, the Capital 2, I haven't even liked, but I haven't listened to it fully, but it's something I know I probably would like because it is Jade. There are some exceptions. And as you can see, it is mainly rap, rock. I usually have a set <laughs> genre on what I want to listen to, so I'm not like super versatile when it comes to genres. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. And you'll definitely see a lot of the same artists here because a part of me wants to just find a random artist and a random album, but sometimes I just default to an artist I do know and listen to their other works. And like I said, a lot of people probably have 
way more albums here than I do, which is fine. I, I keep saying that my music taste, my music history has been relatively small compared to a lot of people. You'll probably have people here with like hundreds and thousands of albums listened to and I simply am just playing catch up. <laughs> There's so much music that I've missed out on my life that I've never got around to until like recently. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of just trying to play catch up but there's just like i said there's just so much music out here it can be difficult to just sit down and listen to an album but i did do that a lot this year and i'm i'm proud of what i've listened to so far of course it's stuff i probably should have been listening to a while ago but um you know like <laughs> dangerous for michael jackson but how many people in your life in your regular life do you know that that just sits down and listen to an album front to back if it's a lot then my bad you got it but you know a lot of people are just doing playlists or songs that they've heard and, you know, they haven't gone through like an entire album, I feel like. But hey, who knows? Who knows? All I will say is that my catalog and my music history is very, very small. If it's in my liked, if it's in my listened, if it's in the good stuff list or the Weezer Wednesday list, then I've definitely listened to it. I tried to make sure I found all the albums that I have listened to fully. If it's not here, then I haven't listened to it fully. I probably know some songs. If you name an album, I'll probably know a song or two from it. Oh shit, I even put the link in part. Hold on, there, there you go. See, you'll probably see some omissions here and that's fine. I just haven't listened to it fully. Uh, and that's what my Spotify is mainly for nowadays. You know, there's also a bunch of shit here too. It's like, um, when it comes to like, <laughs> reviews i i do want to maybe dabble in it a little bit you know give more extra thoughts on albums that i've listened to or made videos on you know i could probably put it on here or bring it to the community tab like how some some youtubers do i usually don't use it to get recommendations from other people because you know some people can be kind of pretentious with this kind of stuff it's like you know the way i want to be introduced to an album is if like someone's like hey you should you should give this a try or have you listened to this and then maybe a slight description of what that album or artist is i don't usually like looking at like the numbers it kind of just clouds your judgment a little bit but if it's like a good number hey maybe <laughs> Usually if it's a good number, it gives me an indication to maybe check it out. But if it's something like this, then it's like, it kind of does off put me a bit. Even if it could be like a pretty good album, I won't know. But it is, no, the numbers are really good at clouding judgment. Hey, me editing, uh, just looking over the points I made again. I can also see the flip side of it where it can also be a good indicator on what to use your time with. Because while... The numbers can cloud someone's judgment going into the album. It can also work as a nice little indicator as to be like, hey, don't waste your time listening to this album. There are much better albums you can actually indulge in and have a good time with. Which is the plus side of, you know, these numbers, these rating systems, these average ratings. So I can get that. I'm trying to see both sides of it. If I see I see, oh, it's a, it, it has a bad rating. If, if I have the time, if I feel like it, maybe just still check it out just to see if there's any merit in it or if it's overhated or even if, like, they're right. <laughs> it does suck ass. So there's that. But, uh, there, what was this? <laughs> there's this guy. He has two, <laughs> he has two, he has two reviews. Um, you know, To Pimp a Butterfly, which is probably one of the greatest albums of the 2010s, giving a zero, and one of the greatest albums of the 2000s, Ratitude, given a 100. Oh. <laughs> so there's some stuff like here where it's it can be pretty funny, but I do want to maybe take this account seriously or, you know, maybe use it to give extra thoughts on albums I've listened to, but the main purpose of this whole album of the year website my account is to just keep track of what i've listened to fully and maybe help with my end of the year list but for now yes this is my album of the year account this is what i've listened to fully this is most of my music catalog i'm pretty sure and uh i guess you can look at my good stuff list early but i will make a video on that by the end of the year um yeah Hope to have my like tab uh, expanded more as time goes on. Hopefully I can continue what I did this year and just sit down and listen to an album fully so I can, you know, you know, expand my music history, I guess. But, you know, 
there's just <laughs> there's just so much music there's just so much music a man can consume but hey maybe maybe that's just a skill issue on my point it is a little transitional time you know I've, I've never listened to as much music as i have in this okay specifically i haven't listened to this many albums in a year ever i felt like Artists that might be a different story, but I I can't I can't recall with 2022. But uh, yeah, there's just a lot of music, and I'm not really complaining. It does give me a reason to make more music-related content. Uh, I'm sorry for all the gamers and anime watches too, <laughs> and ramblers. It's just you know time is so finite, and I could get lazy. It could also be because you know I'm fixated on artists and I want to consume more from them. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a little ramble I wanted to talk about since Spotify Rap came out and I was kind of kind of taken aback a bit by it, but not really surprised. Obviously not surprised by Weezer, not surprised by Future. Uh, I'm sorry Vince Staples, JPEG Mafia, and Denzel Curry. This was your guys' year, but apparently I didn't do enough. I'm, I'm so sorry. <coughs> Okay, so I just figured something out. So you know how it shows you your top 5 artists first, right? It only shows your top 5 artists, but you can actually search beyond that. I just found out from this Twitter post over here. You're gonna have to kind of play a guessing game though, because it won't explicitly tell you who's number 6 or what. You have to search for the artist you think is number 6, then it'll tell you the actual number. So I tried to find, I searched and searched, and turns out my number 6 top artist is Travis Scott. Which would make kind of sense. <laughs> I do like me some Travis Scott. And plus he did release Days Before Rodeo. So I was listening to that a bit. So now let's go down the list. Because I found my top 20 artists now. Took a bit of searching, but here we go. Number 6, Travis Scott. Number 7, Denzel Curry. Just missed the top 5, which is a shame. Because uh, I really do like Denzel Curry. But hey, at least I know he's in the top 10. Number 8, <laughs> Drake. <laughs> um, that's kind of funny. Hey, Family Matters was pretty sick. So, number 9, Vince Staples. Thank God, Vince Staples cracked the top 10. Another great artist I like, and plus he did drop Dark Times, which is a pretty good album. Uh, number 10, Kanye West. Um, one of my favorite rappers of all time, favorite artists of all time. Uh, he did crack the top 10, uh, even though he didn't drop his best work this year. Um, yeah, so he still made it on. <laughs> <laughs> number 11, <laughs> Fall Out Boy. Okay, I can explain this. So they had a concert around February time. I have a video on it if you didn't look at it where I was supposed to see Cardi that same time but uh, obviously he canceled the freaking tour. So I got to see Fall Out Boy in person. It was actually a pretty sick concert. Uh, I had to prepare for that on my way on the plane. So uh, yeah, they, they got just out of the top 10 which is pretty diabolical but hey they're here 12 metro boomin not surprised we don't trust you and we still don't trust you drop plus getting ready for the tour uh i, I was listening to a lot of metro throughout this year and um yeah heroes of Relin's still a great album even two years later 13 was i got ayo boo 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 dropped a really good project like not too long ago that griselda shit goes hard uh, 14, 21 Savage. This one kind of surprised me because I haven't really listened too much. I mean, he did drop earlier this year, but I mean, I haven't really gone back to it that well. But I mean, you know, it's still a fine project. I was just kind of surprised I saw him here a lot. 15, JPEG Mafia. I'm, this one I'm kind of surprised I had that low because I thought I, I thought I was listening to JPEG a lot, but who knows, maybe. <laughs> Apparently I was listening to more 21 Savage than JPEG Mafia. That's probably due to Metro Boomin, but um, yeah, released one of the best albums of the year, I Lay My Life Down For You, and uh, apparently that was not enough for me to be listening to him on Spotify a lot. I was actually listening to it on YouTube though, either On or Off The Drugs is possibly one of Peggy's greatest songs so far, and um, yeah, that whole album was full of bangers. Don't worry Peggy, maybe I'll get you higher. I, I don't remember how high you were last year, but you definitely should have been up there, especially with scanning the hoes and whatnot. Very consistent man. Oh, well, this is a little awkward. 16, Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> he also has some very heavy hitters in his discography. Alfredo, Pinata, and he released He Only Died Once. Well, I think it's also up there with one of the best albums of the year. Right on the JPEG Mafia is kind of diabolical, but hey, you know. <laughs> Life works in mysterious ways. 17, The Weeknd. Um, yeah, I mean, he's he had a few singles out, and uh, I, I'm liking, I like pretty much all of them. He hasn't really dropped anything too crazy. Well, I mean, we're waiting for the goddamn album to drop, but that's gonna happen in January. So, uh, you know, I guess these singles will take us there to suffice. A lot of people aren't really liking the singles, I think. 
I think they're good. I don't know. I've been waiting for Timeless to drop, and it's finally here. So, there we go. Sao Paulo's a banger, though. And Dancing in the Flames is fun. I listened to Starboy After Hours. After Hours is pretty good. I, I haven't... It's been a while since I listened to it fully, but... I remember listening to it, and it's like, damn. That's pretty good. And speaking of which, number 18. Mr. Cartier himself. Um, this guy... <laughs> this guy is gone way down well then again when you only drop one single officially on spotify for god knows for four years um yeah you you're, you're bound to go down the list the songs i would be listening to that cardi released this year are all on youtube they're not officially on spotify so how the fuck would they how the fuck would they be reported for my rap all i'm saying is if hood by air and 2024 were on spotify they probably they'd probably be <laughs> bumping cardi's numbers up but um you know all we get is freaking all red and a bunch of features. Yeah. Yeah, no wonder. Hey, you made the top 20 though. So, Shawty, you wanna come around? She wanna get hit. Then she love me because I keep having my side. This one was also kind of surprising. It was um Kendrick Lamar at 19, which, um, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know why he's down here that low. But then again, this probably goes back to the whole listen to it on YouTube anyways. I was listening to All Right a ton on YouTube. And of course, you know, the, the diss tracks, the euphorias, the not like us. But hey, he still made the top 20, even if I barely listened to him on Spotify. Well, releasing GNX will probably help it for next year. And to end it off, number 20, Kashi. Um, he, he made the top 20, or he made the 20th pick, which was, yeah, that kind of makes sense. He released Requiem, that was pretty good. And, um, you know, I fit the stereotype. I am Asian. That's about it. Yeah, so shout out to Keshi. And boom! A lot of artists I'm not surprised are on there. The only one that really caught me by surprise is 21 Savage, but I could just chalk that up to the whole Metro Boomin pre preparation for his, his, his tour. But uh, yeah, at least I know where Denzel and Vince landed up. At least they're still top 10. Peggy, I'm sorry for being 15, but you know, I'll get those numbers up. I can't tell you if that top 20 is typical or diabolical. Uh, I don't know. You'll see with that end of the year list. Hopefully I get it out before December ends, but you know. I think I got all my points across, and um, yeah, I'm now becoming a music snob. Prepare for all my horrible reviews coming out in the next five years, and that means one review a year. What did your Spotify rap look like? Did it surprise you guys? Did you also have Weezer in your top artist? I wouldn't be surprised either, you freaking virgins. Um, yeah. Fellow virgin, out. Fellow music snob virgins we out here to end this off i'm going to do a random number generator between 1 and 100 and i will end it off by playing one song from my top 2024 list uh, bang 99 so one of my last tracks of the top 100 as you can see here you know it's it's I can kind of see them. I wasn't replaying a lot. And track 99 is to end us off, Hoodlums. Bang! You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I freaking love Denzel Curry. I don't think his uh, Kings of the Mischief Mischievous South Volume 2 was my album of the year, but hey, Denzel Curry still dropped a banging ass project. And what a way to end it off. I will take it. Track 99, Hoodlums. If it'll load. I'm a prophet, if I'm a plug, I'm a socket Running shit up, bitch, I'm sonic, feeling iconic Quatic, my life a comic, bitch, I'm in lit electronics Sophic, smoking, I'm chronic Hey, hey, hey Boxing, flogging, they gone, you That's that loud pack, have your ass smack I am deep in on a split, but Pull up on the block, what's good? He hits you with the bullet Misfits misunderstood Capital punishment like we were back by the government That's that loud pack, have your ass smack Click, clap Rocky! Rip, 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 rip. Fuck is wrong with you? Not eight Eminem. They'll pay art. Hell no, I ain't feminine. Bang! All right, that was a banger. That that was a banger. I still keep saying that that song should have been longer, but hey, you know what? It does its job. Still a banger, nonetheless. And um, yeah, shout out to Denzel Curry. Shout out to all the albums I listened to this year. Shout out to Spotify. No, sh don't shout out to Spotify. Streaming services are fucking the artists up. But uh, shout out to the Wrapped. Shout out to the guys who made that. I guess shout out to you know, you know, everyone wants to look the stats nowadays. Everyone wants to see the box score. Don't want to look at the actual game. But whatever, whatever. 
Those are my stats. Check my stats. Uh, don't actually check my stats. They kind of, uh, they kind of don't paint the whole picture. Anyway, yeah. With that being said, thank you for watching a, another ramble in the books. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Watch my other ramble related videos if you want to watch my non ramble related videos if you want to um yeah let me know your spotify wrapped maybe we can look at our freaking top one 100 tracks together who knows who knows maybe we might know what your top artist is predictable predictable that's what it is anyway yeah shout out to music and fuck you spotify pay your artists better